folks, Pat from Ratstash here, and we're back at the storage locker facility again. And guess what? We got a unit here. So let's open up and find out what we got inside, okay? Ready? Drum roll. Ha! What we got here? We got books. We got chairs. We got tubs. We got all kinds of cool stuff here. But the thing we're interested in right now is the books. Why are we interested in the books right now? Because we have the ephemera show coming up soon. And I'll be doing a lot of work for that coming up. So, gotta go through the books here. Take a look and see what we got. Oh, got some boxes back there. Some furniture. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. I need to go through this place. I need to clean it out. And I need to go through this. But books. We have a lot of books. Femmer cell coming up. Don't forget. Check us out books here pulling out as we go along and finding some good books now these up here i'm going to show you shortly these are from or being pulled out through on ebay macari something along those lines here or they're christmas books now these here have been going through and we're, uh, these are going to get priced and taken to the store so stuff like four is for, it's for birthday okay nice good kids book uh the leaf men i don't know what that is but good book oh here we go Skippy John Jones, class action. Tell me that's not a good, great kid's book right there. Just saying the name, Skippy John Jones. So, going through all these books here, having gone through all these books over through here, got a nice pile going here, got a nice pile out there in the hallway. There's just so many books here to look at. All right, I mentioned some of these books down below here. Uh, we always remember, always remember, we sell our books at dollar and a quarter, so you can't go wrong with that. But not only going through this, this unit here, finding not just kids' books, Okay, we have a whole stack here. Science fiction, fantasy books. Uh, the science fiction, Piers Anthony. Gotta love Piers Anthony for science fiction, okay? We've got uh, Star Trek, come on. Deep Space Nine, Star Trek. Remember Star Trek? Come on. Who doesn't? There's not a Trekkie out there. Love Star Trek. I'm a Trekkie myself. Renee, more Star Wars. That's okay though. We're still out in space. We're still spaced out. But you know what? Go through. You never know what you're going to find. I always say this in our videos. You never know what you're going to find. The magical music of Walt Disney. Are you kidding me? Look at this. And I didn't. I haven't even looked at really Disney. I pulled it aside. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the condition this is in here. This has got to be probably out of the 70s at least. And what is this? You say, what is this, right? Albums, folks. Vinyl is coming back. Pop culture tells me vinyl is coming back. You go to any store, you find tons of vinyl. Why not Disney vinyl? Volume 4, Volume 2. I bet you there's Volume 1 on the bottom here, right? Can't go wrong there. Volume 1. This is some great Disney. This is 50 years of original motion picture soundtracks from Disney. All right, let me put this back in. I'm going to show you the back side of this, this thing here, okay? All right, now I have the back of this album here, of this box set here. What's inside it, as well as the, as the albums, there's a booklet. Look at this. Magical Music of Disney. Peach Dragon. I remember Peach Dragon. The Rescuers. This is, this is great stuff here, folks. This is your Disney fanatic. This is great reading, beautiful artwork, and pictures from movies. Oh, come on now. They don't even make this one anymore. Song of the South. This is fantastic. You're never going to find this again. You are never going to find Song of the South again. It's right here. It's going to be in our store. Or on eBay. Now, not only did not only talk about this here, okay? This is fantastic. What else will you find in here? More kids' books. Now, golden books. All of us had golden books when we grew up, right? These from for the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Oh, 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 to today. But we got older golden books. We got Dumbo. We got Baby Mickey, Shapes. Oh, come on. You gotta love Elmo, okay? More Sesame Street. Pano the Train. Never heard of Pano the Train. Or Thomas, but not Pano, okay? Winnie the Pooh. Who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? This is fantastic. And this book here, I'm, gu I'm guessing this is probably from the 70s. The condition that it's in. More Winnie the Pooh, all right? Now, I talked about these up here. Pop culture, right? Modern stuff? Captain Underpants. 
whose kids or who yourself has not read Captain Underpants? Again, these will be online. And of course, we got to go with Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Book of Letters. Book of Shapes. Book of Numbers. Fantastic stuff. Chris, you have these yet? You need these. All right, what else we got in here? Muppet Babies. Love Muppet Babies. More Sesame Street. More Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Muppet Babies. And the Wuzzles. I don't remember the Wuzzles. Do you, who, who here remembers the Wuzzles? Put in the comments. You remember Wuzzles? That was, wasn't, wasn't something I watched. I watched my Sesame Street. Watched it with kids growing up. Heck, I can turn on once in a while. Just remember, remember how to count. Walt Disney. Now this. Looking through this. This is a fantastic book. Stories. Look at the stories here. And, wait a minute, look at that. This is not English. This is something very interesting. This is not English at all. I don't know what it is. It looks Slavic, maybe? No idea. But none of this is in English. So, before this goes out on the shelves anywhere or on eBay, got to do some research into this as to where it came from. You know, you think I figured this out reading the titles on here? But no, I didn't. So, all right, let's see what else we got in here. Yeah, I have no idea. Doesn't even have the thing in the front here. Nothing. Just right into the stories. Ah, here we go. Bratislava. No idea. Okay. No idea. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do more research on this, figure out what this actually is here. But continuing along with this. Mickey meets the giant. Come on now. It's great here. Winnie the Pooh. Disney's amazing muffin search. Great. Alright. Grew up with Annie. On Broadway, on the movie, have seen it. Okay? Great. So, having looked over through here, let's find out what's over here. Now, I kind of peeked up here and I didn't want to. Say too much, but audiobooks. You're on a long drive going somewhere. Pop one of these in your tape deck. Who has a tape deck yet? Or, or if you're lucky enough, CD player on your car. Come on now. Audiobook. I've never listened to an audiobook in my life. I know. Surprise, surprise. I listen to podcasts occasionally. I throw on AM stations. So, uh, wait, yeah, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got uh, Plum Island. We got Dixie City Jam. C is for, I need to read, I need to listen to this one. C is for Corpse. Come on now. I have a very macabre side to me. I like this kind of stuff. A good murder mystery? Why not? Why not? What else we got here? Chicken Soup for the Kid's Soul. Okay. Cor corpses and, and Kid's Souls. Hey. Weird stuff. I'm all for it. Let's put this aside, though. Let's, let's see what else is up there. I mean, curious what's in these boxes. I'm going to open this unit up here. Let's find out. <sighs> oh, dude. This is awesome. Oh, no, look, no kidding, look. Audiobook. This comes with a tape, usually. I don't see a tape in here, but hey, the book is here. It's Robin Hood, it's Disney. Got to can't go wrong with that, all right? Bird Nanny, come on. More, more. Popeye. Renee called me Popeye all the time. I don't know why she called me Popeye. I am not an old, bald sailor dude. Okay, I'm getting older. I was in the Navy, but I'm not a sailor, okay? I definitely don't eat spinach. And who the heck dates olive oil? Really? Come on now. The woman has a figure of my finger, okay? She's about this big. And she's, oh, you know, crazy. And where did, where did this dude come from? Sweet Pea. Is this her kid? 
Where did he come from? Very mischievous. And of course, he's always fighting Bluto. Come on now, Bluto. Bluto should be his drinking buddy, not his, not his, not his, his guy he fights over. Why the hell are they fighting over her? Come on now. Did they never have no woman else in, in the world when Popeye was on? And they're both fighting over this scale? Come on now. We can, you can do better than that, Popeye. Come on now. Okay? But the real thing was, though, having been a guy who likes history, Popeye was a nickname of a guy from the English Navy. He always had a, a pipe, had no teeth, and he was in the Navy, I believe, between World War One and World War Two, And he looked kind of like him, actually. Plump, round face, always had a pipe. I don't know if he was, you know, ate spinach and, you know, beat up all the Germans or that. I don't know, but Popeye's cool, but not so much cool her, okay? Animal babies. You kidding me? Cute furry little things. Who doesn't love animal babies? Look at this. Rhinos. Okay. Um, white rhinos are almost extinct. Black rhinos are almost extinct. We need to take care of these folks. We don't want to lose these guys in our lifetime, okay? Public service announcement. Save the rhinos, okay? They're, 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 they're big pigs with horns on their noses, okay? Save the rhinos, okay? They may chase you down. They may stomp on you. But you got to run faster than the guy next to you. Just trip him as you go, okay? Got to save the rhinos. What else we got in here? Yeah, let's go to this one. Seven and one blow. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pass on that. I got too many word comments for that. 1980s, Alf. I loved Alf. Are you kidding me? I used to love Alf. He was just awesome. And I read so much about the show and how much they didn't like the guy who did Alf. Because he was pretty much a jerk. And they had trap doors all over the stage. And they made sure they didn't fall down because he would pop up in, in there to do the puppet thing with Alf. Um, he wouldn't fit well in our house. We got four cats. Alf used to eat cat. He was from Melmac, which is actually, if you know that, it's kind of what they make plates out of. Those plates are made of Melmac. So he's from a plant that made plates, I guess. I don't know. He ate cats. <sighs> Big Bird. Big Bird, Carol Spivey. The man played Big Bird for 50 years, okay? Got it. Hats off to Carol. The dude was on roller skates most of the time, being in the Big Bird costume. Loved it, okay? What else we got? Superman. I'm a DC guy. Superman's not my favorite, though, okay? Just not a big Superman guy. The day Daddy saved, stayed home. Well, heck yeah, he's got to stay home. You kidding me? Why go out in the snow? Now, it's it's April in Pennsylvania. And Renee called me on the phone the other day and said, You know what? It's snowing outside. It's like, what? Are you kidding me? But then again, it's Pennsylvania in April. Of course it's going to snow. Why not? I didn't believe her, though. I had rain. Pinocchio. The wooden boy. Good story. Talking cricket, though? I don't know about that. Now, I'm going to put this back here. I'm going to talk about this. Have you ever been to Walt Disney World? If you go on this ride, it will be stuck in your head for the next three and a half months. All they do is these little puppets are singing, these little, little um, animatronic kids are singing this song over and over and over again. And when we go, we go on it two or three times. Why? I don't know. But I have to, I have to go on this thing. And something weird about me. I don't know if people, how many of you know me? But um, I like to go out metal detecting. And I'm, I'm like, like freaky about finding coins in the ground and stuff like that. If you ever take the boat ride around, it's a small world. People are always looking like, hey, it's a small world. They're singing. I'm over on the side of the boat looking at this going, where are the coins at? I am constantly looking for coins. And I want to dive in the water and go get them all. Thousands and thousands of these things, okay? I know, just weird stuff. But hey, go on the ride. It's cool. It's animatronic. It's fun, all right? All right. Apparently, this box is full of, full of kids' kids' books and the rescuers. Aladdin. Snow White. Hercules. Tales from East... Aesop's Fables, okay? I know, I know, Renee would probably want me to talk about the Rescuers. You know what? I've never seen the Rescuers. Yeah, I know. She just picked up a, she just picked up a lounge fly bag of an alligator from the Rescuers. I think, okay? I don't know. I've never watched the Rescuers. I used to watch the Bullwinkle Show. And they had Aesop's Tales on there. That's what I liked. Aesop's Fables. 
It taught you something. This, I don't know, but you know what? There's mice on here. Mice and rats were the rats. Gotta love it. So, okay. Whole box full of kids' books. What's in that one? I got it. I got it. We're gonna find out what's, what's in this box here, okay? Don't know what's in it? You're gonna find out with me. I freaked myself out. Something jumped, jumped out and like, bah, I'm not got me. But it isn't. We got more books, okay? A lot more books in here. Looks like there's some teenage books. Ella Enchanted, all right? Lipstick Anthology. I don't know what that was about. Mm. Not my type of reading. However, The Creature from the Seventh Grade, Sink or Swim. Now, looks like The Creature from the Black Lagoon. That one I do know about, okay? Looks pretty good. Children's book. And then we have Red Thrist, Red Thread Sisters. Okay. And a little help from above. These are good teenage reading books or preteen reading books, I would say. Ah, the talking eggs. Now this, 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 this scholastics. Ever go to school with having two bucks in your pocket and coming home with four scholastic books? Every book fair, every kid trying to scrounge pennies from mom and dad. Love scholastic. Now this here, this looks old. So let's take a quick peek inside here. And we can see that it is, oh, not as old as I thought it was, 1989. I mean, 1900, that's pretty old, but really, 31 years old. It looks good, the talking eggs. That's, what is this about? Look at the color work, the color of the, the, and the, and the, the artwork inside here. What a great looking story that is. You know what? Might have to read this one to the granddaughters. That'd be fun. I think I think we should I should go up there and read this to the granddaughters. All right, what else we got in here? Spirit animals, the Ever Tree. Spirit animals against the tide. Mike, Sharks and Monsters fan. Here you go. There's a shark on there. Among the Barons. Little Women. Great, great classic illustrated. Yes, Little Women. Everybody should have probably read this book or seen the movie or the stories. Okay, what else we got in here? Okay, what else we got? Let's dig this out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we got a whole bunch of books that are similar here. You know. You're all right. Needing each other. Oh, these are, wow, these are good books. A kid's Guide to Managing Money. We Everybody needs to know this. Are you kidding me? This should be something they teach in school. How to manage money, how to deal with credit, how to write a check. Of course, we're out of that era now of writing a check. It's along the lines of how to type on a typewriter. Kids with three years old know how to use a keyboard already. We don't use checks anymore. We use anyway. the kids' guide to making friends. Not online, in person. Let's try that. Okay, you're one of a kind. Hey, I think one of the Beatles is on here. A couple of the Beatles are on here. Yeah, that's my era. That's how I talk about it. Okay, so while you fight your this is good advice. All these books here. Every kid should be reading these. Surviving fights with your brothers and sisters. All right, keeping your body well and alive. Having a dog chase you. I guess it's one thing to do it. Make up your own mind. I, 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 I may have my mind. I want ice cream. I want some ice cream now. I want chocolate ice cream or peanut butter ice cream. A kid's guide to managing time. Yes. Don't spend six hours a day on Minecraft and everything else you're playing. Good advice for me too. Using your head. Think, folks. Think. Handling your ups and downs. Okay, doesn't mean grabbing a whole bunch of balloons and just floating away. Okay. Everybody has highs and lows in their life. You got to learn how to manage and deal with it. Okay? Mine and yours. Okay. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. That's what Renee tells me. So, anyhow, we have to share. And the nitty gritty of family life. Okay? Family, family is very important to us. We we love spending time with each other, and we spend time with our, with our kids and the grandkids and everything else. So, family life, very important. All these books here, these are going to go well. These are, these are some great books here. We're going to, maybe we're going to package them together. Maybe we'll throw them on eBay like this. This is going to be a great time for these books. All right, so what else we got in here? We've got a couple more in here. And then we're going to move on boxes. All right. Visit to, to di di dinosaurs. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? I always wanted to be an archaeologist when I was growing up. And it still interests me. Jurassic Park movies kind of ruined the things a little bit, but it got me even more interested in it because it's cool. Little drummer boy. 
Frog. Barney. Barney's right at the end of my, of my my teenage years. They started coming around and went through all the kids' years. And who doesn't love the Big Purple Dinosaur? You know, he taught us a song that's still stuck in your head. If I start singing it, which I'm not going to, you're going to get it stuck in your head all day long. And because, you know, I love you and you love me, we're as happy as can be. Yeah, I got it stuck in your head. Now. <laughs> Dumbo. Big flying elephant. Okay. Um, when he's flying overhead... Don't get under him. Obvious reasons. Life on the farm. Oh, Pee Wee. Hey, hey, everybody. Pee Wee. Love Pee Wee Herman. Unfortunately, we lost Paul Rubens earlier this year. But if you ever see the Pee Wee's Big Adventure movie, they're funny. And he had a TV show I used to watch as a young adult. It was just horrible to watch, but I watched it. Disney. Pinocchio. Love Pinocchio. Puppy love. All right, next book here. Richard Scary. Find your ABCs. I always like the illustrations in these books. He, he's such a great artist, and just what his, his, his message across is very simple. He's always learned to teach kids how to read, how to learn, how to spell. Great books. All right. Another one of these audiobooks of tape. I, we might have a lot of these tapes at home somewhere, and we can match them up with these books. Snow White, wonderful. Where's the Halloween tree? Come on now, we love Halloween. The wrong time of year for this right now, but hey. Great Halloween books. I love these things. The Haunted House. A little early in the year for this, but hey, who doesn't love Santa? Right. Robin Hood. What a great story from uh, around the Richard III's time of England, I believe. Around the Crusades, the time of the, one of the Crusades. Everybody's vacation, even a witch. All right. Did she take a broom? Did she fly down her broom or she take uh, uh, Jet Blue? I don't know. They keep a secret code book. Who, who, who talks in secret codes anymore? All crypt, crypto and stuff like that. Okay. I want to be a cowboy. Elmo was, is a cowboy, okay? Oh, blue. Blue. Love blue. Steve and... What was the, I remember the guy the other day, his name was there. Was, Steve was the guy with blue. Come on now. Tom and Jerry. Oh, no. Okay. If Renee was here, she'd know I'm going to go on my rant about Tom and Jerry. How I always wanted Tom to catch and eat this mouse because this mouse is a troublemaker. But no, Jerry always won. Disappointed. All right. Cool box. So, I'm going to keep going through all this here. Uh, I got more, more, more books over here to go through, more books over here to go through. I've got to get through all this mess here. And I'm going to organize it all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, if you haven't yet, check us out. Instagram, Facebook, and of course, you're watching our videos. So, please subscribe if you haven't already. All right. Thank you much for watching, folks. Dr. Mustache signing off. See you later, folks. All right, folks. Now you see there's a small portion of this unit here. It's not a full unit, but there's a lot more to go through, and you need to watch further, further upcoming episodes to see what else is going on inside here. I'm going to show you everything that's going on. Right now, you can see three big stacks of books. They're going out of the store. I'm going to take them down right now. So, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our Rastache channel, as well as check out our YouTube and Instagram and Facebook pages. All right, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. See you all later. I'm going to close this up now. Keep the goblins from getting in there. House in there somewhere. Let's go. Let's go.